Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna be working on this 2018 Outlander Sport Mitsubishi. Um, we're gonna be putting new door speakers in. So I already got the first panel all removed. And there it is there. So basically there's two screws and I'll go through this on the other door, but there's one in the door shut deal and there's one in the where the door opens and then you take these two latches off and these three plugs and basically just you can see where it goes there's push pin deals you just they pull straight out you just kind of got to wiggle it if it's cold try to heat it maybe get the door all heated up before you pull on it so it doesn't break anything but you just pull it out to get it to the top and it just slides right up and then there's a tweeter housing if your car does have a tweeter this one didn't but that's the tweeter housing comes off first before you pull the door too. I'll show you the back side here. So you can see it's just those single clips. A couple different kinds. But yeah, it's the back of the door. And it might throw a little bit more soundproofing in there. But... So basically the way these work, the opening on them, the factory uh, speaker twists and comes out and you put it back in to snap it back into place. It just twists in and out. There's no actual hardware that mounts it in there. So a lot of people I was reading on forums that if you get a six and a half inch speaker, it'd fit perfectly in here and or a six and a three quarters, which is what we got. We got six and three quarters and they said it fits perfectly in there because it said the six and a half is too small and it falls through. Well, if you get a six and a half, you could actually screw it directly to this, um, door itself you could put your tap your own screws into the deal if you want to use the factory housing though you're gonna want the six and three quarter inch speakers because here's the speakers this is the new speaker obviously the kicker the old one i already dremeled it out and we'll go through that too and how to do that let's bring it over here we got some room So you can see that if you fit this face to face, oh, careful, face to face on here, that lip fits perfectly along where those mounting brackets are here. So that's what we're going to mount that into. So if you do want to Dremel out the old bracket, you can do that or cut it out the old bracket. You can see where I cut all these tabs. That's where the old speaker was mounted in. And these tabs you leave on, these three, because that's how it goes back into the door and latches. Here, I'll show you. So you're lined up here. One way or another here, I think. There we go. Okay, so see, that's how it goes in. And it just simply turns and it's in so if you want that like stockability or whatever you want to call it um you can do this what i'm going to show you in this video okay so there's something else i just figured out with these brackets here so the way this lays in there it's perfect but the only problem is inside this lip under this foam on the front side it's hollow all the way to the bottom so it's almost like a U, kind of like that, but closed all the way through. So you can't screw directly to this bracket and then just pop it in. You're gonna have to dremel it out, put your bracket back in. And now we'll have to put the speaker on here and then just drill drill through in we're going to pre-drill a couple holes into the body and that will mount our speaker there and actually probably is good to do this because the magnet is a little deeper than the factory one and so i don't know if it would hit the window or anything and you know, rolling up and down so we're just going to do that anyways 
So we're gonna pre-drill through here first and then sink a screw into it. And that's how we're gonna mount it. But I think before we do that, we have to obviously make room for this uh, to plug into our speaker. So we had to run our wires first. So if you want, you can actually utilize the factory plug here for the factory speaker. Um, I just went ahead and dremeled it off because it's, they're not the same connections and they're actually soldered on to there on the inside. So it would take a little more time, but if, if you want to solder, you can directly. Um, but I think what we're going to do is just drill a hole um, right next to it on the inside here, on the back side of the speaker. And yeah, we'll just run our wire through that hole instead. I kind of want to figure out, probably put it by here. I'm just going to go in this little notch here. It's plastic, so it should drill out pretty quick and easy. Just enough to get our wire through. We wire the speaker together. There you go. Got to see through there. Yep. So I'm going to start to. I said through here and this sh get a bit that's deep enough to penetrate this and hit your door. Like I said, you can push all the way through that foam and then you want to hit. Okay. So. self-tappers, but be careful when you do this so you don't slip and hit the speaker. So just take your time. Don't be using the torque drill. Don't overdo it and pull that metal because it is just aluminum. And it'll rip it out. So you get one and two. And this would be actually easier than doing slip and hit that cone because if you hit that you break the speaker. Make sure you find your hole. do the work. It might take a little longer, but just have some patience. So you do it right now. It's solid. Here's our speaker wire. When we hook it in, we'll be able to hear, make sure which one it connects to. So we're going to cut this stock bracket. If you're not going to use this, it, it would go back into there if you did solder it, but we're just going to do the quick and easy deal here. So And you can use this crimpers, but we're going to use solder sleeves. Okay. 
pull these apart. It doesn't need to be that long, and we want it nice and neat, so we're gonna cut it to about here. that solder. Same with this one. Pass the solder. And overlap each other. Okay. I'm going to take our heat. And solder that together. Once this one's cooled enough, you can get this other one ready and go ahead and solder that together as well. that cool. Once it's cooled off we'll kind of tape it up just to cover it. Well, I always start on one, usually the positive if there is one. But you can wrap them separate too. I'm just go ahead and wrap those together. And then we'll take another piece pull it away from the up. Back down around to the factory tape. Just nice and neat and buttoned up. I'll just take it and tuck it back into here. This factory lip here. Oh, I'll break that one. in nice and neat and you put it all back together it's not hanging over the top of your speaker so off the side there. So we're gonna put the door back on so we're gonna take it out put it back in this way we took it out so the blue slides right in here on these clips on the bottom just like you took it out so this little cylinder goes in there I'm gonna clip it into there when you're ready so, and the same with the top We'll get to that, but first let's get these put in. So, this clip goes in the bottom here. This clip goes in the bottom here. And one 
more is gonna be, it's gonna get tight right here, so. Okay, and then you put your cylinders in. And then clip that piece back in where it came out of. Clip just like that. And fold that out. Make sure that's clipped in. Clip that together. And everything's back together. And then you want to put your lip on first on the top. And that's, you're going to scoop and almost bite down into it. popping these back into place. And you kind of, you don't want to force it, you just want to make sure you're lined up right. And you'll hear that. And that means that you're lined up good. And once you get it on one side or the other, kind of just follow its lead all the way around. Okay, That's solid. And now, put our hardware back in. Here's our door hardware. There's only two pieces, which is pretty nice. This piece goes with this screw behind your lever. And so, just the way we took it out, I'm gonna put it back in. I typically don't use drills when I'm putting this kind of stuff back together just because you don't want to over torque it and break it. And you can see your clips here. Line that back up, pull that handle out, and kind of push it back in, it just clips right back into place. Okay, I'm gonna take your other piece simple just goes down in this pull door spot again I don't usually use a drill just because it's they're not very long screws or bolts typically you just want to use a screwdriver and put that piece back in and that just clips right back in and the doors back in that's all it takes <laughs> it's like a factory speaker Housing will stay there. Everything's factory except for the speaker itself that we just put in. And we actually only use two uh, screws on each side to mount it. So if you want, if you do have a tweeter, this one doesn't have a tweeter in it, but it's got a tweeter housing. We can install a tweeter later, but it's got a little clip right there where the deal goes into just to hold it. You can see plugs into right there and this actually just has one single clip which is really nice it just kind of has a tab that you slide down in you line the hole up push it in and that's it and that's installed so you it's actually wired up for a tweeter if you want to put a tweeter in some models but that doesn't have a tweeter so you just have to custom mount maybe we'll do a video about that later if we end up getting some more so it's the same deal on the back door. There's two spots that you're gonna pull so you can get a couple different types of tools if you wanna use. Just a trim puller or a hook. You just wanna get back into there and just kinda gently pull until that gives loose. You don't ever wanna yank on anything. And same with this one down in here. You can either use your hook, or if your hook doesn't work, you can use your trim puller. So I'm gonna pull these two screws out and try to remember which one you put where because they're similar but different. So the shorter one goes with this shorter piece. And if it's like the front, this one's going to be a little longer. Yeah, 
pretty much exactly the same. This one's a little longer. I'm not gonna go to this piece, I'm not gonna go to that piece. So set those aside for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull the door just like pull the other one. So this looks like it has the same way out. The top's got a lip to it, and so we'll just take the bottom here. There's an opening on the inside here. And just kind of gently pull. It's gonna sound like it breaks. But just... There it goes. Just pull on it and until it gives. You don't want to yank too hard. Break any tabs. So now that's loose. Okay, see that's loose. So now we're gonna lift the door up. Just like that. And in here, you have the same type of deals, only less. Because it's not the driver's side door. Typically the driver's side door has more plug-ins and everything, but this only has the window unit, the door unit, and the locking mechanism. Same thing, those cylinders just pop straight out. And the door's off. And these are our tabs. Kind of the same setup as the other door. So just set that aside. And again, with the speaker, it's the same as the front. You're just gonna pull this tab out right here, push this tab in, and pull it up. And best just to wiggle it out loose. So that's gonna be our speaker wire. And we're not gonna mess with this. Okay, so just pull that out. And this whole speaker will just twist, it pops right out just like that. And like I said before, I just cut here to Dremel it out because unfortunately it's soldered. Otherwise it would be nice to use your factory plugs. But if you want to take the time to solder those wires in, you can. So however you prefer to do it. Let's go cut this cone out. Okay. So what I like to do is, uh, you can see in here there's a rubber lip. So just on this side of the cone, I like to take the blade. You don't have to be too pretty, we're gonna cut it anyways. I'm just gonna cut along this cone, all the way around. I'm just gonna pull that cone out. So we're gonna utilize this factory. See, it's nice because it pulls right along the lip there, out of there. Pull that paper, I mean, that's literally what your speaker is on a factory speaker. It's just a paper cone. You can hear it, it's just ripping like construction paper. It's nothing. That's why it's, that's why your factory speakers aren't that great. And, and your coil back here is really small and your magnet is tiny as well. I mean. If, Compare the two from your aftermarkets. There's, there's your difference of size and depth. So that's why you get a lot better sound, and this is actually a rubber um, compound that you're gonna have for your speaker as well. Everything's just more, more solid. So we'll set this over here for now. And we'll go over and Dremel this out now over here. Make sure you wear safety glasses. Cause I did have a piece actually jump out at me the first one I did. And you take a Dremel or some sort of cutting tool and make sure you leave these three tabs on because that's what's gonna help it or make it sink back in and mount to your door. So we're gonna lay it on its face and we're gonna cut all these tabs out, just big enough to get that speaker in. Factory speaker. 
Bixby uh, speaker connector. If you want, like I said, you could cut here and here with the wire cutters and solder that in. I wouldn't recommend trying to bite onto that. Um, it's a different type of branded wire um, with any kind of crimper. But if you want to solder, you can do that. Otherwise, you can just cut it like we, I'm going to do here. I'm just going to cut it and cut them and drill a hole like I did on the front other one. out the old speaker and here's your bracket it's the exact same as the front obviously they probably went you know universal because it's cheaper to do it that way so we'll go ahead put this back in here just like so and then we'll put our speaker back into there So we're gonna do now, obviously, like the first one, we're just gonna drill a hole for our speaker wire to come back through on the back side. And like I was saying before, you can just, I mean, if you, if you listen, you can audibly hear how much more bass tone this has than a paper speaker. It just sounds so much better and it's a lot more solid. So what we're gonna do is drill out the hole for the speaker wire again. there. I'm going to put the speaker wire through that. Okay. Roll. Uh -huh. right. So we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to figure out where our hole is up top here for our speaker wire. Put that bracket in, run our wire through the hole, um, hook it actually to the speaker first. What's nice about these speakers is it came with uh, pre-clipped deals here. Just be gentle with the small one. Flip that rubber piece over. Yeah, Kicker does a good job, I think. With all that. And then find your hole, put your wire through, and then, and it doesn't matter if it's mounted upside down or anything, you're not gonna see it anyways. So here's our hole here. Again, let's get our drill. Bit. I'm left handed, so it's gonna be a little more difficult because this door doesn't open as wide. But again, just take your time. I think doing the outside ones first is easier. because I can kind of see this time. The other one was covered. But I'll be able to see the screw go in this time. It can line it up a lot easier. You see my breath, it means it's getting cold, right? Okay. Put our chuck back in. And again, just be gentle. And let the drill do the work. And don't plow into the cone. So that's gonna essentially hold our speaker into place there. So we can let go of it now. Both hands to focus on getting it centered and this other one in here. 
Again, we can go on the outside for this one. You can actually see what we're doing here now. It's okay if the foam pulls a little bit. Make sure, so you can actually see better. Getting your screw lined up now. Again, get it lined up and set, and then just let the drill do the work here. You want it snug, but you don't need to go crazy and overkill. I mean, it's it's not going to go anywhere to get it in there secure. Otherwise, you're going to strip out because we're not. These aren't actually self tappers either, so using just regular screws with the hardware it came with. Typically they're not self-tappers -ta and you don't, there's nothing to thread into on the back side and it's very thin aluminum. So you don't, or even sheet metal, whatever it is, you don't want to overdo it, pushing it into there. So yeah, we got that set. We're gonna do the same thing. Get these two wires cut on either end. So it's nice and neat and tight. I'm gonna end up going here, over I think. And use that factory fold there. So we're gonna go about here. And again, before we do anything permanent, I'm always going to test it. So we're going to touch these two together while the radio's on and make sure that the sound is coming out of it. two here you can see they're overlapped and then the red is sitting on the jacket to seal it this also just helps it weatherproof as well i mean you can use the crimped ones but i just ever since i've started using these i've always always gone back to them make sure you get a decent butane torch probably almost out of fluid i can never find a decent handheld butane torch that's what i should say it's like in the comments people i say in the comments you should let us know if this wire is cool to you no in the comments actually tell me if there's a decent butane torch that you guys use on the daily that i can buy that isn't also an arm and a leg i mean i, I don't mind paying you know get what you pay for kind of thing but i'm not looking to spend 30 dollars on something so let me know This thing is from a gas station and it's a piece. So let that cool and we'll do the other one. Do the other one. These are the way they're made, it's kind of weird. It's thicker on one side and thinner on the other. I don't know why I don't really like that. Sometimes it's nice when you have a thinner wire going into a thicker jacket wire. But typically you want your bigger end on your bigger jacket. Uh, 
not the wire, because the wire is bigger on the spinner jacket, but the spinner on the sticker jacket, so we're actually doing it in reverse, if that makes sense, because that's got to shrink and, and grab, so. cool down. So I'm just going to tape this up just like before. I just like to run. Tore it. Work. There we go. Run one around the first one a couple times. Usually the positive side, but it doesn't really matter if the speaker wires and then just Snug around there. Roll it back into the factory tape. this under here. Try not to break this tab this time. Tuck that into there, just like so. And I'll put our door back on. So we put the door back on, we got our window unit. We're gonna plug into the back of, or the bottom of, find it first, I guess. And then the blue goes on the bottom like before. The blue tab on the bottom. Make sure you pull it, clip it back into place. So the yellow tab. To pull that guy out. And don't just don't just do that because then it'll pop back out. You need to push it in. It sounds like it clips, but push it till it clicks like that. And then before you start pushing, don't ever start pushing these in first. You want to, then you have to pull it back out. You want to put that lip in on the top first. Get your lip centered on the top because it grabs bites in on the top. Okay, if it looks centered, looks good. And then you can start. Wherever it'll bite first is kind of where you go. You never need to really start. See that bit there? It's good. push all the way around and then we'll put our hardware back in. Short guy goes in the bottom here with the short tab. And our tab goes right back on top. I'll show you real quick here. See it? Clicks right in just like that. Put our other screw in here. So it's gonna go in just like that. Here's your tabs. One, two, three. Pull that handle out. Get your front tab lined up and just push. Right there, that's it. Back in. I'm gonna check your window goes up and down still, and all your speakers and everything. But yeah, that, that's it. And your factory the door here is not hitting your speaker or anything, so it looks good. Actually, see the speaker in there a little bit. Plenty of space. 